right, so uh, I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to need a volunteer from the audience. Help me to uh, move an object with the... Uh... Hi. Hi. So, Juliana. Juliana. Uh, Hi. Now. Hi. Um, yep, we're going to use this computer. Uh, please sit, have a seat. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing now is actually putting on a neuro headset. It's, uh, this is the product that we developed. It's called Emotive Epoch. Each of the light that you see on screen is one of the sensor that's, um, that sends Juliana's brainwave. Yep, so what I'm going to show today is um, how you'll be able to move an object on screen just by thinking about it. I hope that you can see uh, Juliana's face. Can you just <laughs> smiley? <laughs> okay. Yep, uh, give me a normal bling. Okay, and clench your teeth a little bit at the right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a, a expressive uh, suite, which is basically we reading the from the brain. Why we reading all the uh, uh, facial expression that you can you know have a, a avatar uh, mimicking your um, expression in real time. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and first of all I'm gonna um, kind of set the um, the baseline for your brain. So you know just be. Uh, Normal is just a little bit of calibration. It's going to go for eight seconds. You don't have to think about anything. Just be yourself. Now you can choose an option, um, you know, an action. You want to push it, the curve, or pull it, or let's do pull. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, ask you to think about pulling this curve toward you just by thinking, right? You can use your hand, you can, you know, not use it, it's up to you. But thinking about it for eight seconds continuously, okay. right? So, uh, ready? All right. Uh, first time it's not gonna move, right? It's try to read your brain, okay. So, ready, go. So now, uh, can you try to pull that coop toward you just by thinking the same thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit harder. This is, um, the first part is basically based on your motor cortex, so it's read your brain waves and then, you know, um, do real-time classification of, you know, the pattern of your brain and then um, decipher whether you want to move an object towards you or push it away from you or things like that. Um, this one is more on the visualization, so um, it tests a function of um, your brain's visualization. So, same thing, you know, I'm going to ask you to um, think about this one fading, right, for eight seconds. And let's see how that um, compared to your um, actions. Ready? I'll try it. It's a little bit harder. So. Wow. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so basically that's, um, you know, I just give you a, a glimpse of the next generation of uh, human-computer interface. Um, at Emotive, what we're trying to do is we, um, you know, as, as you all know that um, from the beginning of mankind, the way we communicate with um, with machine has always been in a conscious form, right? So um, you normally consciously uh, telling a machine to perform a task for you. So either it's, it's as simple as turning on and off the light or is as complex as um, programming a robot, you know. For us, we look at the communication between human to human and we see it's a lot more complex. Uh, we not only take into account the um, conscious in, intent, but also the non-conscious expression and, and emotions. Um, so at Emotive, we're trying to create technology that um, allow computer to, um, um, to take not only your conscious thoughts, conscious comments, but also um, your emotions. So in, computer now be able to understand um, what you feel about the material being presented to you, right? So um, 
hopefully the force is going to be with us. Thank you.